vloggy videos about topics and this week I just kind of wanted to like geek out with you on one of my special interests. So if you're not interested in brains, I'm really sorry, maybe you don't want to watch this video. But if you like brains, cool, let's like brains together. So my favorite, favorite thing lately that I've been thinking a lot about and reading a lot about, and actually it's not really a new thing, I've just been thinking about it a lot more, is neuroplasticity. And so that's just basically how to even, I don't want to make it all medical terminology. I want the videos to be more conversational than that. Um, basically your brain has all these little nerve cells and they have like little passageways and they connect to one each other and they're little feelers and they reach out to each other and like they touch and they connect and that's how they send signals. Uh, and all this stuff is always going on in your brain and these signal cables connecting um, can like become uh, more connected like little channel highways and it's easier for signals to flow and it's just fascinating um, brain stuff. But anyway, but neuroplasticity is basically just, it's your brain's ability to regrow pathways and grow new pathways and make new connections and basically heal and change and repair itself. Uh, so like if someone had like the brain damage on uh, like one hemisphere and they lose some functions in that part of their brain uh, it might like the brain can compensate uh, for that uh, by building new neurons or maybe even regrowing old ones it's just something the brain can do because the brain's really uh, really amazing um, which is good because we really need our brains uh, if our brains fail on us we kind of cease to exist so it's really good that the brain does repair itself Ooh, Sadie Sadie don't bark okay you're a good girl I know the other dog's barking but you're a good dog uh, so the other thing that's really fun and exciting about neuroplasticity is that we can actually really use the brain's ability to rewire itself to our own advantage so learning a new skill is taking advantage of that anytime you are practicing something over and over again and you're getting better at it you're building up those um, little neural networks in your brain and it gets easier because it's uh, it's just reinforcing that in your head uh, and so that's like another way we can do that consciously like you know with me like with uh, all the meditation and mindfulness and stuff none of those things were easy when I started, and actually some of those things were really intense when I started, like really intense emotions and things. Uh, but anyway, that was my video, and that's just me geeking out with you this week. Anyway, you guys have fun, and I will talk to you next Wednesday.